Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo high score run of the Exodus Crash Nightfall. We're going to be doing it on Night Stalker, as you can see. Uh, top tree, the subclass, all the usual goodies. I'm running Midnight Coup as my primary, Subtle Calamity is my energy, Thunderlord's my heavy, obviously using Orpheus rigs. Uh, the modifiers I've got on this run are Void Burn, Heavyweight, uh, Extinguish, and match game because of the nature of this this uh, strike I've took off momentum because I didn't think it would be helpful I've also took a uh, the, the usual 60 power ha power handicap but as you can see we've got a 3.85 modifier whereas momentum that that's with putting extinguish on momentum puts it down to 3.7 so I'm not going to lie, I am extremely happy to get this one done. So this was the only nightfall I hadn't soloed because every time it come up, I was either on holiday or just not playing on my Xbox uh, or PlayStation or no uh, PC. So I was really happy I managed to solo this second time, but the, the high score run took a few more attempts. And... The hardest part of this nightfall, without a shadow of a doubt, is the second half of the boss fight. The first half, the Thunderlob melts, it's all good. Second half, you if you if you melt the boss, you're gonna have to deal with uh larger larger groups of ads. So the one thing I will say if you've if you're used to watching my videos and you you've seen me use momentum quite a lot, it's a bit of a it's a bit of a culture shock coming away from momentum for a nightfall. But I'm glad I'm glad we done it. It really helped get it get it done. So there are the first thing I'll say about 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 this strike is as you can see we've got the the Vex version. If 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 you were asking for my advice, which if you're watching the video, you might you might stand a chance of taking my advice. If you start and you get the fallen version, which is right at the start, there'll be a couple of drag, and you'll have the boys on the 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 drag on the pikes. Just start it again till you get the vex. And it's not because it's any more difficult. It's just a points thing. There just aren't as many ads. Now you there are more ads and more points to be had when you get into the first real encounter. But I, I would just I would just go with go with uh, go with doing the vex version. The other the other noteworthy thing is I've got some interesting armor pieces on for the machine gun. I've got uh, basically I can carry more, so instead of the the two twenty that you normally carry, I can carry two six five. I've also got scavenger on, which allows me to get more heavy ammo from from boxes and I, I think I've got I think I've got machine gun dexterity on as well which is just a bit of handling I think of the of the machine gun so I was going to wait to get th this is the first real kind of everything else you just shoot what's in front of you but what I do here is normally I wait until I've got I've actually got my my tether and I tether these these uh these vex first but as you can see put your tether right on that doorway and just suppress and and you can take all the ads out before they've got a chance to, uh before they've got a chance to do anything as you can see that's them all the ads are gone now as i've said before and i will continue to to say my my suggestion is switch up even though you could just melt everything with the thunderlord make sure you, make sure you you switch up your weapons simply so you won't drop heavy on heavy kills now the area effect that the thunderlord does can drop you heavy i've had it done during strikes uh today so it it, it does drop you heavy if you get the the area area of effect going just just when, when at all possible just switch switch back to your primary or energy and 
I base my heavy usage off what heavy ammo I've got. But that's what I normally do. But with this strike, I just base it on what's the fastest way to put the ads down. So this is my first real encounter. So what you're going to have is, you're going to have, straight off the bat, you're going to have a heap of enemies that are going to come in from this side. A, a well-placed tether, and they're all gone. I absolutely hate invisibles. Just have no time for them. I don't like any ads that stay shielded most of the time. I, don't, I just don't see the point in it. So, once you've cleared out all the ads, uh, you will start the start the encounter. Now, these invisibles, when you, when you go down here, if you you can still hear them talk, even though they're invisible. So, just make sure that there's nothing lurking. So, if you watch Defend Ghost, it it works as a percentage. I can't remember the exact percentage. I just, the, 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 the noteworthy percentage is 50%. At 50%, you're going to get the two the two extreme bosses. They're not, they're not really that extreme, but two big bosses, the two big minute, uh, servers. You get them at 50% on the button. So keep your eye out for that. Now, the... the, the I, I do prefer the Vex version. I think the Vex version of this strike is there's more points to be had. But I think the points that you get are easier to acquire. That's I think that would be fair. So as you can see, they, they came out pretty quick. So maybe it's every 15 or maybe every 13. We'll find out here for the, if the next wave come at 36 or 30. Uh, maybe 36. There we go. Yep, every 13. So you get waves at every 13%. So it kind of works up. It's I mean, it's as close as you're going to get to it being 50. So I'm burning a little bit of heavy, just a little bit, because we know we've got heavy sitting right in front of us. And there we go. You've got the two, two servitors. So we'll just take out these ads that are pushing us. And my suggestion is take out and take out a servitor from where I'm taking them out, reload and do it again. And as you'll see, we had 62 in the clip, and you you know it doesn't take a full clip to take down a servitor. And it's it's it can be a little bit time consuming, as you can see. I just I'd had enough. Just uh, just tethered them just to get them out of the way. Because you can be down here for a while, actually. They'll just keep... You know, the times that I was doing it, it felt like that I was just fighting all the waves from down there. One of the times that it really did feel like I was down there for ages. And the thing about it is, it's, it's all right being down there. But uh, all the time you're off the plate, it, it do, you don't accrue any time. So the longer you're off the plate... The longer it's going to take your ghost to do his business. Well, that didn't sound right. <laughs> do, finish, finish his scam. These are annoying, and this, this is if you do get the fallen version, this is the most annoying part because they're solar. So as you can see, I'm, I'm just can't, not being reckless. I just know I've got heavy to burn because I know I've got three or four boxes. I've got scavenger on, which means basically I will get more heavy per box. You know, and that's that, that that's what you've got to watch out for. Don't you know, don't make sure that you're keeping an eye on that stuff, on what ads you're actually attacking. Because yeah, if you, if you let the ads bunch up, you might lose the option to come down here. And because I genuinely don't have a lot of heavy <laughs> to fire, uh, I'll take take that that last vandal out with with a bow. And there you go. I mean, we picked up two bricks, and I've got 187 rounds. I thought I had another brick. 
I thought there was another one lying about. M must have picked it up accidentally. But it's all good. So, the other thing I'll say as well, as some people might think, well, I could do this quicker, he doesn't really use his spiral that much, is because that's a sure way to die, is, is to travel through here on your spiral. And I, I'm pretty sure you'll see see how close I am to dying here. Really close. But I've seen that flag. And you will get chance. You will get a few chances. Hopefully to rally flags. Because there, there's, there's a couple of locations you can rally flags. So it kind of helps. I mean now we're right back to square one. Full heavy. Uh, we've got our super. We would have had our super anyway. But we've got our heavy. And now we can progress through the strike to the hardest part. Now, some sometimes you'll get through exactly the same as the start of the inverted spire. Sometimes you'll get through to this next area. And there'll already be a team taking out the, your walker. And But you'll also have, like I did, you'll get there. The team has just taken the walker out and is going and you get a brand new one. <laughs> it was quite... When I seen that there was a team in front of me, I was kind of like, oh yeah, saved myself a minute or so here. And then it dropped another one in front. As you can see, there's the team just going in, and uh, and here comes my walker. <laughs> and as you'll see, the walker's going to drop with those uh, solar fallen things. That actually don't like my void grenade, did that? Uh, I didn't notice that when I was doing it. <laughs> it got flung to the side. Uh, you don't have to kill them. You'll probably notice as well. We're not getting any points for any of these kills. Because we're in an open area. And now we're going inside. So as soon as we go in here. As soon as the barrier goes down. We're going to tether the staircase in front of us. That should capture all the ads. And just make light work of all those fallen. What I kind of do. And what I like to do in this area is if I, <clears throat> excuse me, if I can get my heavy, that's that's all I'm interested in. All I'm interested in is getting the heavy. So I'm not going to waste time trying to get three or four hundred points from, from one drag. We just want to make sure we've got full heavy going into the final room. And we know we've got some bricks here. And I think we're pretty close. Yeah, pretty close to having full heavy. Full heavy. And now I'm going to try and make it past most of these ads. Normally, I wouldn't bother. Like I've said, I don't really bother with the score. Uh, the, these ads, because there's not enough score really from them. I just wanted to find out how much of a difference it makes and to be fair it didn't make that much difference so i just went past them so this is the room the nightmare room i don't think it's too much of a, a stretch to say this is the hardest nightfall without a shadow of a doubt i don't think anybody can argue with that so we're going to do all of our fighting from the left hand side we're going to use this box as cover and it's basically all about spotting him quickly. So you'll get kind of a, a visual flash. He's in the room. And as you can see, I, I'm, I'm looking for him. And if you can just crit and keep him there, that's one health bar away from him. A dodge reload because I know he's coming back. And we're just keeping my eye out for him. There he is. His mistake there, he, I, I could have been in trouble there if he hadn't have fired. So, we're going to use this as cover. And you just have to be aware. As you can see, they, 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 can, they, can, they can push left and right. When you're doing stuff like this, you can't really miss shots. So, you know, try and stay up on here. The left hand side gives you more cover on this box than the right hand side. So we know we've got enemies around. Keep your, you know, don't ADS too much. You know, make sure that you're, you're watching your, 
you're watching your reader. When you read ES, you, you don't really, you can't really watch your reader. Another reason I picked the bow, long range, high impact, very accurate, mine's got boss spec on it, and it's got Firefly. So that kind of, I was hoping for a bit of that uh, shared damage. So the reason why nothing's happening is because it still adds up. The way this works is, once you've cleared the ads, all the, all, all the, all the, all the shanks will explode. Trying to leave them caught just in case they drop heavy so the heavy's not too far away. Now we're going to be dealing with the, inv the boss. So as you can see, I, I got him straight away, which means I can keep him at arm's length. We know we're going to get him again, so I'm going to tether. Now the tether is, is for him, but it's also to hopefully share some damage. So what I'm going to do is just try and take a few adds. And then it's all about protecting yourself now. We are in we are in the end game now. So if if you feel like you're getting pushed and it's remember you've got your invisibility you know, your invisibility might not help you get out of there. But if the ads can't see you, they, they possibly won't fire at you. So we're just taking down ads that can take us from any range. And making sure that our one defensible, one defendable position is clear of ads as much as possible. Just keep coming out, out of your, out, keep coming, uh, out of your sights so you can monitor your your uh your surroundings so now we know he's coming i'm just going to make sure i click you know we're trying to protect what area that wasn't very fortunate for them and we'll put a tether back down he's come right up very stupid of him nearly dodge reload right at right off the the map and we've caught some enemies in the tether. And those there, those exploders, they, they can ruin this run. Every time. Because they will all come up and encroach your area. That's that's the kind of, that's the purpose behind actually having uh, the tether. So we've got, we've got heavy. And that's another thing. That's why I've been switching. Boss is here. Boss is gone. And I know the way this is going to sound, but that's how simple it is. It's not very simple. It's a very difficult strike. We know that. But defending your position with your tether, making sure you've got heavy, switching backwards and forwards, and just being aware of the way that the, the ads spawn. You know? You know that you know that you're gonna get all those exploders when you get the two servers. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I appreciate everybody viewing, and I will see you guys in the next video.